Hey, this is Matt Roberts with Shamrock Aquaponic Farm, and today I'm going to show you how I built some do-it-yourself scaffold sets. Ordinarily, I would not have thought that wooden scaffolds would have been strong enough to do the job, but recently I had just done a project where I built a pipe and lumber storage rack, and the design was so strong, I was really impressed with it, that when I, it occurred to me I needed some scaffolds, after shopping around and finding three to four hundred dollar sets, I decided to give this a try. Um, I was pretty impressed with how strong they turned out. I'll show you how I did it in just a sec. I started by gathering up all uh, the old scrap I had laying around my shop and ripped down two and three quarter inch pieces for the rails and the bottom stringer and then inch and three quarter for the ladder rungs and then the top stringer. I made this to be the just about conventional size. They're um, five feet wide, six feet tall, and then with the cross arms they're seven foot apart which lets you use eight foot walk boards. After all the pieces were ripped and cut to length I laid out all the pieces that needed to have rabbited joints. You want good tight cuts here because this is where all of the strength, the lateral stability comes from. It's a good tight joint. I assembled the right and left ladder sections using angle clamps, pipe clamps to draw them in tight, and then um, glue with three inch epoxy coated deck screws. The bottom and top styles were put on using the same method. I didn't have clamps big enough for those, so I just used the screws and it pulled everything in really pretty tight. It all looked pretty good when they were assembled. After the assembly, I used a doweling jig to put in a nice straight hole where my 3 8 inch bolts are going to hold the cross arms. I did those top and bottom. My cross arms were built with um, half inch EMT electrical conduit. I cut them to length and then hammered the ends flat, drilled them, and then ground the edges smooth. They were pretty quick to put together. I got my length for the cross arms by laying out two parallel lines seven feet apart and then um, put cross marks at the right distance as what I had put my 3 8 inch bolts. That gave me the length. I went a few inches past so that the uh, cross arm would stick past it. The connectors that join the top and bottom sets of scaffold were made out of three quarter inch plywood, just slightly larger boxes than what the, the rails are. Um, three eighths inch bolts hold them together top and bottom. There's full bearing so they, they're pretty strong. Since these are going to be stored outdoors when I'm not using them, I went ahead and put a coat of stain over them just to seal up the wood a little bit. They'll be under the roof of that uh, pipe rack that I built, but they'll still get some weather. So that concludes my do-it-yourself scaffold project. It uh, brought a $600 project down to about 20 bucks for me and used up all the little pieces of scrap lumber I had laying around my shop. Well, I hope this video helped you. Um, if you go to our website, shamrockaquaponicfarm.com, there's a variety of other videos available, including the greenhouse that you see behind us. Uh, this has been Matt Roberts with Shamrock Aquaponic Farm, and I'll talk to you next time.